my name is Jean and this is my channel learn with Jean in today's video I'm gonna do a follow-up to last week's video demoing and showing how Thinkific payments work in the back end and how it translates to the front end as a creator running your business on Thinkific so if you haven't had a chance to watch last week's video feel free to click on the thumbnail up here and you can check out last week's video that gives you more context about some updates to Thinkific payments I'm just going to give a brief summary of the changes one which is now you can set up and add order bumps to every order so that allows you to expand your business and get more revenue Two, now Thinkific will calculate sales tax for you so that you don't have to do the work yourself. This makes it easier so that you as a creator can focus more on the growth of your business rather than on the nitty gritty details of how to accurately calculate sales tax. Really excited to show you how it all works. Let's jump right into the demo. Feel free to log into your Thinkific account to follow along to make these changes and to see how it all works. So what I love about this is that you'll see that each category is assigned based on is it a course that is self-paced, is it a course with live lesson, is it a subscription, bundle, coaching, consulting service, because that all affects how the sales tax is calculated. I am in my partner account. I'm going to show you how to set up order bumps again, and I'm also going to show you how the dashboard looks like for Thinkific payments and how the sales tax is calculated in the back end, and then show you the front end so that you can see the experience from back to front or from beginning to end. I am logged into my partner account, and what I'm going to do is click on settings because this is where you will see the Thinkific sales tax calculation. So I'm going to go through this first because I think this is really key and really important. And then I want to go to payments and then under payments, I will have two different options, Thinkific payments, and you can add all your details here. And then there is the tax compliance portion. Now, this is what is really nice is that they will give you tax categories so that you can assign the category to the correct rate. This is important because sales tax is a very complex topic and how it's calculated is very different depending on whether you are selling a self-paced course, you're selling a self-paced course with a live lesson, whether you're doing a subscription or whether you're just selling a community as a product. And so as you can see, I have two options here. I have an online course and bundle and community access. And so what I can do is if this isn't accurate, so these are all the demo products that I've created, what I can do is go to edit categories and then they will look at all the different products in here. And this is a demo course that I've set up and I can assign a category of whether it's an online course and bundle, whether it's a digital book, a digital school textbook, an audio book, like maybe digital document, like maybe it's a digital PDF or what if it's a JPEG or PNG template that you have created in Canva to help people create awesome social media posts. Or it could be a replay of a live video stream or you may decide to upsell consulting services and or physical goods. So Thinkific has tried to cover the wide gamut of possibilities and so each course you can choose which the appropriate category is so that the accurate sales tax is calculated and reported to the specific state rule. And so this is great so that each course can be assigned the accurate category. And then when I'm done with the courses, then memberships can be calculated the same way. They can be assigned different types of categories to ensure that the accurate and correct tax rate is calculated and assigned to those bundles and memberships. As you can see, there is also an option for communities. And if this knowledge base, let's say I sell access to my knowledge base, I can decide whether this is considered a course or whether I consider it a community access. So again, each community has the right sales tax category calculated in the back end. Now, once you have made these changes, you want to click on save categories. And then I'm going to then show you now what it looks like on the front end as a user. So now you can see for this one product, if I am a user who is checking out, 
I can continue in the checkout process. If I have a coupon, I can click on have a coupon and enter my coupon. But the cool thing is now I can add the order bump to each sale so that this course has an associated upsell or order bump of a consulting or coaching call. And then as you can see here, uh, the subtotal, and then there is an estimated tax based on zip code and then the total price. So that let's, I could put in an email. I don't uh, know if this is gonna calculate. I can put my name in. And let me just give this a zip code of 94133. So let's just say my zip code is in California. And then I agree. And then I can say PayPal. In the payment options, there is now card, but there is also Google Pay as an option. And then if I continue, I can also include Apple Pay. Apple Pay is also an option, Cash App, and any other mobile payment is an option too. And once I fill in all my details and my payment method, I will go to complete purchase and then this will show me the estimated tax based on my zip code. But because this is a partner account and there is no sales enabled on this account, you don't get to see the full experience, but I just wanted to give you the overview of what it looks like as a user who is purchasing one of your products. Now I want to go back to the Thinkific payment dashboard because this will really help you see the big picture of how this all works together. And again, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment, question, and or reach out. I'd love to be able to help all of you because I think this is so important to understand how the payment side work so that you focus less on the payments and management of your business and again focus on the growth of your business so now that i'm back on my thinkific partner account if you go and look under your market and sell tab you will see there is an option for payouts transactions and orders the beauty of this is where thinkific payments all happens on the dashboard this is where thinkific payments really makes magic work in handling all the transactions and orders and issuing of refunds. So if you go to transactions, you, all the transactions will be listed here. And this is where you will see sales, you will see refunds and any payments that did not go through. Now, once you see your business transactions here, you can see the payouts under the payouts tab. And so this will help you track how you're doing and how your performance is. And this all helps you manage your business in a much easier and smoother way so that you really focus on using the Thinkific platform, not just for hosting courses and creating courses, but also for managing your business operations, orders and transactions and payouts. And then if you go to order bumps, this is where I can designate order bumps for each type of product. And so I have a one-on-one -on -one coaching that is assigned to my Launch Your Online Course product so that anyone who buys the course can opt in to a one-on-one -on -one coaching. And so it's really cool in that if you click on Create Order Bump, they will ask you which product, and I can say Launch Your Online Course or the assessment product. And then they're going to ask, what do I want to offer an additional bonus or upsell for this one? Maybe I can say, okay, now you've done the assessment. Now I want to offer a advanced coaching for people who are looking to take their business to the next level. And then I can offer different kind of pricing plans. Maybe I want to give this for free, but I'm talking about advanced coaching. So I can say, I'm going to say a one-time payment or I can do a subscription. Maybe this is a group coaching and I want to offer a membership pricing or I can say I know that this is a premium product so I can offer a monthly payment plan at maybe 500 for three months and they will tell you here there's a minimum of two months and then if this coaching upsell product is only limited for a certain amount of time then I want to make sure that this is noted here in the enrollment duration. Now what I can do as an incentive and enticing people to buy this to say this is a $500 payment per month for three months and usually I will charge $1,000. So it shows people, wow, I'm getting a bargain, I'm getting a deal. And then I can add the title and I can say sign up for advanced coaching. And then give this a description. I can just put some text. I'll put text 
Yeah. And then I can click save. And now I have a, another option for a payment plan product as an order bump. And so this gives me an opportunity to get more revenue by offering a payment plan for a premium coaching product as an upsell to the assessment product. And so this is just an overview of how Thinkific Payments Now works. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, feel free to reach out. I hope this was helpful. And if you haven't already signed up for Thinkific and you're curious to try Thinkific, there is a link in the description below to use my affiliate code and get your first month on the pro plan free. And so I'd love for you to support this channel and support these videos. And thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.